Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into Quen 3 VL Instruct, a powerful vision language model that takes image to text prompt into the next level. It offers major upgrades like superior text comprehension, deeper visual perception and reasoning, and more importantly, advanced spatial and video understanding with enhanced Asian interaction capabilities. Whether you are working with a single image or video, this model is designed to help you with prompting. So in this tutorial, I will show you how to integrate Quen 3 VL into Comfy UI for better image to prompt generation. We will run a few practical demos and compare it with Florence to run model. And the most important thing is I will show you how you can run this model properly using my custom and low VRAM optimized workflow. So without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. Okay, the first thing that you need to do before starting is installing the custom nodes for the Quen VL. And to do that, you can use the link under my description. It is a GitHub link. Then just use the code here. Go to Comfy UI root folder and search for custom notes. Here you can just type in in the search bar CMD. On this command window, you can type in git clone and paste the code here. Click enter and it will install everything for you. Once it is done, close this window here. Go to Comfy UI root folder again under the update folder and make sure to update Comfy UI and Python dependencies. This way you will be able to use the Quen nodes without uh, any issue. You will also need to install the F sampler here. It will uh, give you some boost uh, during the generation. So all you need to do is uh, copying the code again, go to custom nodes, type in here CMD, then type in git clone and paste the link here. Click enter. Once it is done, make sure to restart your Comfy UI and we are good to use this workflow. But before doing so, let me first show you why you need to install those nodes for the F sampler. You can clearly see that uh, it allows you to generate uh, images more uh, rapidly while keeping the same quality. As you can see here, when it is uh, set to off, it takes around this time to generate this image. However, when uh, the F sampler is activated, it clearly boosts the generation time while keeping the same quality. As for uh, the GitHub link for Quen VL, you can clearly see that we have two nodes, the Open the Quen VL nodes and the Quen VL Advanced for more advanced uh, instruction or and details. However, for this tutorial, we are only focusing on the Quen VL and uh, I will show you how you can use it more easily. If you also check the Hugging Face uh, website, you can see the key enhancement for this model included a visual agent meaning that you can interact uh, with the model and ask him to do some uh, tasks like uh, image environment colors uh, pose and uh, many other details and uh, based on that it will create a prompt for you it also has uh, this enhanced multi-model reasoning long context and video understanding meaning that uh, you can use a video in order to describe it using a prompt and it has better text understanding using the LLM model's training. So based on that, I created this custom workflow and I will show you how it works. So the first step is gonna be to loading the model. As you can see, we have here the clip and the VA notes for a Quen image. I'm also using a Nunchaku version of uh, this Quen image since we are generating images and not editing them. So I choose this uh, Quen image lightning two steps uh, model. As you can see, I set the number blocks on GPU to 5 and it is optimized for my GPU. So you can increase or decrease based on your graphic card. We are also using uh, some LoRa's here in order to increase the, the realism, starting with the Quen Realism LoRa, the Rebalance LoRa, which is a new LoRa model that came in recently. Then the other steps, then the next step is choosing your resolution. I set the resolution here to 1024 by 1024. So we are generating square images. The third step is going to be prompting. And as you can see, we have three text clip text encode, one for the negative input. And the other first one is a positive Quen VL text prompting. And lastly, it is the Florence text encode nodes. All the, those clip text encode are related to the prompt generator subgroup. As you can see here, we have the Quen VL nodes and the Florence 2 run node. The Florence 2 run is going to do the same job as the Quen VL. However, you can't uh, customize your prompt here like it is for the, the Quen VL. It has an input image, which is going to be this one. As you can see, we have an input image subgroup. I also added style selector in order to change the style for my created images. We will see that later on on this video. 
the next notch is the Quan VL, and as you can see, there are different parameters here. Starting with the quantization, make sure to choose the 4 bit VRAM friendly. And for the model name, we have different models the instruct and the thinking model. So for this tutorial, I chose the instruct model, the 4B instruct. There is also 2B uh, version, but this one gives me the best results according to my PC configuration tool. So once the prompt is generated using the same input image, it's gonna add the style selector if you need one. Then it will show you here the results of the generated prompts. As you can see, there is a, a big difference between the Florence to run and the CoinVL prompt. And it is mainly due to this included AI agent that we talk about. As you can see, I set here a prompt where it allows me to extract the character information, the character pose, the camera angles, the outfit, the action, the environment, the mode, and also the colors. So using this uh, customized text prompt, it allows me to get the, the maximum of information from an image. As you can see here, it gives me the character, the camera angles, the outfit, the action, the environment uh, of the image, the mode, and also the color. And this way, uh, you will be able to replicate any type of image uh, while keeping the generated image close as possible to the input image. Once it is done, all those information are going to be concentrated here. We have two sets here. The first one is the Quen VLF sampler. As you can see, I am using eight steps. CFG is set to one. The scheduler is set to simple. The sampler is also set to Euler. For the skip mode, make sure to set it to adaptive. And for the verbose, make sure to set it to true. We have here the same parameters for uh, this uh, F sampler Florence. At the exception of the text uh, encode on this Florence uh, sampler, we are using the blue uh, positive text encode here. However, for the QNVL, we are using the prompt generating by the QNVL model. And lastly, we have our upscaling group here. As you can see, I set a load image. I try to do it uh, automatically uh, using uh, one uh, click button. However, I run out of VRAM. But if you want to do uh, everything automatically, all you have to do here is adding a git node, select results, and look for QNVL results. Then all you have to do is plug these uh, nodes here, and it will upscale uh, automatically all your uh, images uh, generated using the QNVL. However, since uh, I have a low VRAM, I decided to do it this way. So, so you can disable this uh, group upscaling group using this button. Here you can fold all the necessary models that you need uh, for the coin image if you never work to it. And lastly, here we have the results group where you can see all our results. So now let us uh, do some test and you will see the main difference between the two models together. Okay, we have the results of our image. And before comparing the two images, let me first uh, take a closer look to the prompt generated by the coin VL. As you can see, it managed to include all the necessary details while analyzing the image, starting with the character, the outfit, the environment, the mode, the colors, and the environment. It also included the character poses with the prompt. However, for the Florence to run, we only have a small prompt describing the image. So for image information for Seoul, at first we can say that the Quen VL provide more information compared to Florence. Then, when we take a closer look to the image generated, you can clearly observe the difference. The first image here is generated by the QMVL prompt. And as you can see, it is very close to the original one. The girl is sitting on the car station, and we have the practically the same color and mood. The position is also very close to the original. While Florence uh, Turan gives us a poor image quality, starting with the, the colors and the environment, However, we still got the same poses and the girl is sitting on the train station. In this first results, we can say that the CoinVL is very good at uh, recreating images based on input image. And it was the same for all the other images that I included. Uh, all the version uh, of CoinVL has better uh, image accuracy, better color and environment representation. And the details are also very impressive since we are using the same model. You can clearly observe that it preserves uh, the poses and the colors of the image while also keeping uh, the results close to the input image as uh, much as possible.
and the most thing that i like about this vl image is it can copy the poses and the colors of the image perfectly fine we don't need for control net open pose or running some tricks in order to copy the pose and the colors of an image so the first test concluded that Quen VL allows you to create and replicate any image, any image pose and colors without any issue. So for the next step, I try to add an input image of a different style. And I wanted to see if it can replicate the style too. To do that, I also changed it prompt here. I included the style or image style then click run here you see the results of uh, our generated image based on uh, this input image you can clearly see that the florence run managed to copy the details but also gives us some uh, colored art book uh, image however for the coin vl it uh, failed to duplicate the style of the image even if we included uh, this style and i also make sure to disable all the realism lora in order to get uh, the, uh, the best results but uh, it failed to copy this uh, the style provided by the input image as you can see we have here uh, the same composition and the uh, details uh, it also included the environment behind the man but uh, it did not copy the style so to fix that i decided to add here uh, this style selector and uh, the main purpose of this is uh, it included the, all the necessary style that you need if for example i want to do an anime style all i have to do here is selecting the style once it is done it, uh, the coin vl is going to generate the base prompt uh, for the image then the style selector is going to take into consideration the style that we included in order to give us the best result as possible to do this test i choose this uh, image of a horse as an input then i managed to get this results you can see we have two version the florence image version create successfully uh, the style the, that we asked for however it gives us some bad results here on the shape but for the coin vl it managed to uh, preserve the image composition and the poses while giving us the desired style so using this combination you can uh, replicate any image with uh, any desired style without uh, doing any uh, other additional steps or further uh, prompt instruction all you have to do is select your desired styles, use this QuenVL uh, prompt uh, instructions, and click run. And the last thing that I want to show you is the upscaling steps, where you can upscale your uh, desired results. Since here, it is uh, true that we have uh, a good image with the poses, colors, and composition. However, the quality doesn't seem so much uh, good. Of course, the, uh, to fix that, you can uh, increase the resolution of the generated image or go directly to the upscaling steps here. All you have to do is uh, using the same image that you want to upscale. Then this image is going to be upscaled into 4K resolution using this model here. After that, the image upscale nodes is going to decrease the resolution by half in order to encode it using the VAE encode. Then we are using the same model here, meaning the Lunchako version of Quen Image Lightning. It's going to be used at uh, 8 steps with CFG value of 1. And the denoise value is set to 0 0.35. I strongly invite you to play with the denoise value. However, make sure that uh, it does not go beyond the 0 0.5. After that, the results is going to be saved here. After that, the results is going to be saved here as a Quen VL upscaled file. And you, you, it will fix all the issue for you. And one uh, last trick that I want to show you here is the preset prompt that you can choose and select according to your needs. As you can see, I use the detailed version of this uh, preset, but you can go to extreme details, cinematic, simple, tags, or uh, you can choose the creative option in order to create a story, summarize a video, or give details analyzed. It's up to you now to choose the right preset according to what you want to obtain. You can also download the other version of the uh, CoinVL model, the 2B or the 8B version, and but it will depend on your VRAM and PC configuration. For video analysis, I did not uh, personally test uh, this uh, model, but I, I saw some video tutorial about uh, CoinVL for video generation, and it also gives uh, good results compared to previous model that we saw. It can analyze a video and give you a good uh, text prompt 
for your video generation. I also wanted uh, to test this uh, CoinVL uh, with other models like Flux Crea, Flux uh, Nunchaku version, and also 1.2.2 for image generation. But I did not try it for now. Since uh, this model works the best for Quen, it can fail to generate images. However, if I succeed to make it work with other image models, I will share the results with you. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel, leave me some comments down below, and don't forget to become a Patreon member of my Patreon page where you can get early access to my video workflow and uh, ask me for additional help. Thank you.